Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Missy here and it is October 14th and it's time for our elementary session of Together on Wednesdays. We hope all you elementary kids are hanging in there with your virtual school and all the things that you're having to do. We hope that you are paying good and close attention to what's going on um, in all the activities we've been doing here at church. And we want to remind you to gather your folder and your packet for your stuff that Miss Emily's provided for you and get ready to meet with us tonight because it's time for Together on Wednesdays. So here's Miss Emily right now. Hello, let's sing our gathering song. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And I'm happy that we are together today. This is the jam and beat. So remember those four kids, they're going to show you how to move and groove. So let's try it. You watch them.
and we're going to clap and say the chant with her, all right? Sing to the rhythm of a brand new song. Sing a song of joy your whole life long. Let the rivers clap and the mountains sing. Shout for joy to the King of Kings. By the power of God's right hand, He shows His love to every land. Let the rivers clap and the mountains sing. Shout for joy to the King of Kings. Show 
boys and girls. Well, today we are going to review our Bible story that goes just with that song that you just sang with Miss Emily. And that's, that verse is, love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. Now today, you have your Bible verse in a puzzle cutout, just like this right here. So what I want you to do to review your Bible story today is cut apart this puzzle. Just cut it apart like this, and I want you to cut it all the pieces apart, once you get them all cut apart, I want you to keep that puzzle and put it back together again and again and again. Shuffle up those pieces, mix them all up, and then start putting them back together. And as you do, each time you put it back together, I want you to say your Bible verse out loud. Let's say it together one more time right now. Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And you too will have that verse memorized after you put it together time and time again. And I look forward to hearing how you do putting your puzzle together and together and together again and again. All right, now for our devotion today, I have brought something with me. Do you see what this is? It's a gift. Have you ever received a gift? Very good, yes, I'm sure all of you have received a gift of some sort. Now, I want you to think about the most favorite, bestest, greatest gift you've ever gotten. Can you think about that? Think about it. Mm, can you think about the greatest gift you've ever got? Okay, I bet some of you said bicycle. Was your bicycle the greatest gift you've ever got? I bet some of you got a baby doll one time that was just the coolest thing ever. I bet some of you are like my kids and maybe you've gotten a trampoline before and that was a really, really cool gift. But can you think about the greatest gift you've ever gotten? Well, as cool and as great and as wonderful as that gift was, the gift that we are given from God is by far greater. You see, the gift that God gave us was the gift of his son. The Bible tells us, so we have come to know and to believe that the love of God has for us God is love, and whoever abides in his love abides in God, and God abides in him. So as God helps us, week by week, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, we are reminded of the greatest gift we have ever received, and that is his love for us, and so many examples that he's given us of his love. And the greatest example of his love is by sending Jesus, his son, to show us his love. Well, let's pray and ask God to help us to abide in his love today and to remember the greatest gift he's ever given us. Bow our heads and close your eyes as we pray together now. Dear God, help us to remember every day that you are love. You love us and you want what's best for us. Help us to abide in you. And remember that the greatest example of your love was through your son, Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. All right, are y'all ready for our mission moment now? It's time. Here we go. Let's learn more about this very, very unusual missionary that serves at the Cowboy Church. Here we go. 
As we have learning, been learning about this month of October, our mission focuses on the Cowboy Church. The Cowboy Church is an interesting kind of church that meets where cowboys are. They may meet in a barn or a rodeo or wherever cowboys are. Mike Palmer is the pastor of the Cowboy Church in Idaho where he started the Cowboy Church there. His goal is to show the love of Jesus to the cowboys as they interact within his community and meet them where they are so that they come to know the love and the understanding of Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Keep praying for the Cowboy Church and all that they do in reaching cowboys with the love of Jesus. All right, it's about time to close our session out. Remember all of your activities. Um, this week you'll have a Sudoku um, for music and you'll have the puzzle and you'll have an activity about the Cowboy Church. Okay, so be sure to do those when you get a chance. So let's pray and then we'll sing our closing song, okay? May God go before you to lead you. May God go behind you to guard you. May God go beneath you to support you. May God go beside you as your friend. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you everywhere you go. Do not be afraid. God is with you everywhere you go. God is there. All right, bye-bye. We'll see you next week.